the eternal war between heaven and hell is reaching its end. The devil Malbogia has finally gained an army strong enough to march on heaven's gates in one last crusade. His demonic lieutenant the Violator was sent to earth in the disguise of a clown, finding and recruiting humans that will feed the dark side's numbers in exchange for money and power. Souls of his victims built Malbogia's army, and all the Dark Lord needs now is to find himself a general to lead his horde into Armageddon. 500 years ago an assassin named Cagliostro killed in the name of good for the kingdom of Saxony, but the nature of this work pulled him to the darkness and he became a hellspawn. He eventually fought back and freed his soul from Malabolge's grasp and now spends his time on earth representing God's army, searching for others like him to convert in the same way. In the present day at a military base in Hong Kong, an assassin breaks into a command tower and ruthlessly eliminates its technicians. Having been sent by the CIA to eliminate the head of a revolutionary front, the man sets up a remote-operated missile launcher and searches the runway for his target. As soon as he sees him exit his plane the rockets are launched, and with disregard for collateral damage the target and all 26 innocent bystanders are blown up together. US Marine Al Simmons activates the self-destruct on the launcher and leaves after another successful mission. Back in America, Simmons lives your typical suburban life with his wife Wanda and guard dog Spaz. His fellow Marine and best friend Terry picks him up for work, and points out that a lot of Al's missions have gone bad lately. Despite it seeming intentional his friend says he has his back. CIA Director Jason Wynn is the clown's most valuable client on Earth, not only supplying him with souls in the form of Al's victims but has also been entrusted to procure Hell a chemical weapon. The clown promises that the whole world will belong to Wynn when the deal is complete but needs just one more thing. Despite Jason wanting to keep his best asset to himself, the clown requires Al to be the devil's general. Sometime later, Simmons walks into Wynn's office and tells him that the runway was supposed to be clear of civilians, and to next time use his second best assassin Jessica Priest, because he quits. So the evil man uses this unfortunate change of conscience to fulfill the clown's request, and assigns Al to one last task before he is allowed to resign. The Marine is tasked with infiltrating a biochemical plant in North Korea and destroying their weapons. He sneaks in as usual but discovers the guards are already dead, and the place has been rigged to blow. Jason walks in having come with a mission of his own, he plans to release the virus on a nearby village killing all 8,000 residents as an experiment. Simmons tries stop him but is shot by Priest, and he finally realizes that all the civilian casualties lately were orchestrated by Wynn. Priest covers Al in flammables and his own boss sets him on fire, leaving as the building blows up and Al is plunged into hell. After five years kept secluded in darkness by Malabolja, Al is reborn on Earth not remembering a single thing from his time in hell. The demon clown greets him upon his return with some insults before it slinks away, and Al staggers down into the alley known to the residents as Rat City, to see his melted flesh in a reflection. But it doesn't bother a local homeless kid named Zack, or Cagliostro, who asks Al to join them as his appearance now terrifies most other people. Thinking that his last mission was only a few days ago, Simmons leaves them and returns to his home assuming that it's still his. He sees that Wanda and Terry are now together as a couple, and are being closely watched by Malabolge's minions. Simmons' body is always in excruciating pain, and Spaz still recognizes his owner. His wife and friend have had a well-mannered daughter together named Cyan, but her parents just think he is a trespasser and kick him out. The clown gives everyone the creeps before collecting his general and slithering away. The Violator has been sent by his master to be Al's guide down the path of evil, but he hates clowns more than anything on earth and is always complaining. The pain Al's experiencing is his necroplasmic body going through its larval stage, as his real body is pushing up daisies in a cemetery. The clown jumpstarts Al's memories, reminding him that Malbogia offered him a Faustian deal. If Al became the devil's eternal servant and leader of his army he could return to earth to see his wife, which of course he took. Clowny says they want him to kill Wynn, then he can have all the Wandas on Earth he wants. Still not grasping that he is actually dead, Al is teleported by the demon to his last resting place, then handed a shovel and told to dig. He unearths his coffin and is attacked briefly by his own skeleton, confirming it's him when he sees his locket around its neck. A group of weekend Satanists are attempting a ritual nearby and hear the commotion. When they go to check on Al he knocks one away in anger and finishes his maturing process. His flesh is covered from head to toe in a symbiotic parasite named Letha, she feeds off his necro flesh to survive but in turn will protect her host like armor. The clown attempts to sell the Satanists on the look for the low price of their souls and a buttload of pain, but the punks run away in terror. The demon is impressed at Al's record-setting speed going from a larva to full-fledged hellspawn, and dubs the spawn, General of Hell's Army. Clowny tells the Duke of Deepfried that he will send him back to hell if he betrays him, and that the dead can still die if you cut off their head. Spawn absorbs his necklace and they teleport back to the alley, but his evil guide leaves to give the symbiote Letha time to harden. 
Cagliostro returns and tries to convince Spawn to join the side of good once again, but the Sultan of Sizzle is hellbent on revenge, and now has the abilities to get it. Wins now a weapons dealer and has Terry running PR for him to quell backlash from media. Terry doesn't like what he is doing but is coerced into lying to the public with threats to his family. Five years ago after killing all 8,000 villagers, Jason extracted from their diseased-ridden bodies a bioweapon called Heat-16 that makes Ebola look like a rash. He spread dispensers around the globe and thinks that the clown's plan is to hold the world for ransom. Spawn uses an artifact from hell called Agony to break into a weapons compound and mix some familiar guns. Agony is an extension of Letha and can change its form into many things but spends most of its time as a cape, allowing its user to fly right up to his murderer attending an event. A terrified Wynn tells Spawn that it was the clown's idea to kill him and gets thrown around the room. Priest shows up guns akimbo and fills Spawn with bullets, but he sees what the clown means by having to cut off the head, when Letha failed to do her job but all of the bullet holes heal anyway. Despite not deflecting bullets, Letha still protects the important parts, as Spawn handily beats Jason's best assassin. Priest taunts his morality as she knows Al wouldn't kill an unarmed woman, but Spawn would. He shoots her off a balcony crashing into the coup below, and the clown arrives to make jokes. Spawn is about to see what shooting the demon will do, when Wynn's security force arrives and he is forced to fight back. With no remorse he begins to kill the attacking agents until being knocked out of a window. Letha saves him by attaching chains to the side of the building, but police begin to fire on them from the street beneath them. Agony goes camouflaged and he goes unnoticed, but the bricks start to crumble and the cops shoot him down. She kicks in once again and flies him away from danger and back to the church. Wynn is angry at the death of his best assassin and demands to know what clown he wants with Al. The demon tells him that he has the highest kill count of any human, and if Hell didn't recruit him then Heaven would've. He then convinces Wynn to have a device implanted in his chest that will release Heat-16 if he is killed, telling him that it's a deterrent against assassins. While doing a sexy cheer number, Clowny is summoned back to Hell by his master. Malbogia orders that Spawn is to kill Jason immediately and begin the apocalypse. The next day Curious Crispy watches Wanda from a distance, and sneaks in a short chat with Cyan. He chooses to introduce himself as Spawn, then slips away when her parents show up but Spaz catches his scent and sticks around. They return to Rat City where Zack's father is abusing him for spitting out moldy bread, so Spawn frightens him a little, but unfortunately no real damage. Zack follows Spawn and he introduces himself as Al, but Clowny shows up to get him angry so the kid takes off. The demon says that evil is in people's DNA, and that they knew he would make a good hell spawn from the moment he was born, and just nursed it along with his career. Spawn refuses to lead the army to heaven, so Clowny attempts to kill Spaz but Spawn shoots him. The clown has always felt it was his rightful place to be leading hell's army, and has despised Spawn this entire time for taking his place. He turns into his true form and towers over the small hell spawn, easily walking through shots from his bullets. Letha does her best to protect her host while Spaz does his bit, until Spawn shoots the flooring out and the two fall into the alley below. The Violator is wounded on a power conduit but disappears when Spawn retrieves his gun. He reappears and grabs Zack's dad, then slaps him around a bit before throwing him. Spawn catches him but he was hit too hard, turning him into just another in the army of the damned. The Violator toys with Spawn before slamming him against a wall a few times. Violator is a true denizen of hell and can easily take on hell spawns, he boasts about being able to squash spawn in seconds if he wasn't under orders. When Letha releases spikes the Violator impales him on a metal fence, then turns back into the clown. He tells spawn to pull himself together and meet him at Wanda's to kill Jason, then waddles away. Cagliostro comes out of the dark and rescues the crippled hell spawn, but contemplates killing him as he could become a great enemy. Instead he chooses to help him, figuring that he would also make a great ally. Coggles tells him that Simmons is dead and that he is now Spawn, but that he doesn't have to be what they intended. Spawn apologizes to Zack for not doing more and collects his guns to seek revenge, but Kalyo ties him up with his own chains to prove that he doesn't need them. Having just been using Letha this whole time on instinct, they begin training, where Spawn's coach teaches him how to use the necroplasm to direct his attacks. After mastering the armor but not the cape, Spawn leaves Coggles with his guns and steals a bike to go after Wynn. On the way to Wanda's Clowny begins to try run Spawn off the road, hoping it will make him so worked up that he will instantly kill Jason when he sees him. He uses a grenade launcher but Agony turns the bike into a cocoon, so Clowny uses Necro Goo to slow him down. When he attempts to run Spawn over, Agony turns into a giant Czech hedgehog and obliterates the truck, but Clowny flies out of the explosion. Terry discovers what Wynn's planning to do, but he shows up unannounced and takes the entire family hostage. Jason still believes that people will only die if they defy him, not realizing that he is seconds away from bringing about the apocalypse. The clown gets to the house and begins making jokes and killing time. 
Malbogia needs Spawn himself to kill Win and release the virus, as that will surely be enough to destroy what soul Spawn has left. Finally Hell's General arrives home but finds Jason holding a knife to Wanda. He demands he join the Devil's Army but stabs Wanda when he takes too long to answer. Outraged, Spawn throws him around the room and is about to kill him, despite warnings that the world will end if he does. Malbogia is on the edge of his seat in anticipation, when Spawn sees the only thing left on Earth still keeping him from ending it. Because of Cyan he uses the necroplasm to remove the detonator from Wind's heart, but still doesn't kill him as he is done with Hell's dirty work. Suddenly Wanda comes back to life and chastises Spawn for not killing Jason, then semi-decapitates him. Having been clowny all along, he reveals the real Wanda is still alive, but Coggles gets the drop on the demon so he flees back into Hell. When Spawn's neck gash is fully healed, Clowney drags them both into Hell to give himself home field advantage. They drop down in different parts of the underworld, landing Cagliostro face to face with the Violator. He loses his weapon in the ensuing fight and is about to be killed, when Spawn turns up and begins to violate the Violator from behind. He stabs him with a brutal strike causing him to throw Coggles away and disappear. Spawn is then confronted by Malbogia angered by his betrayal. The Devil deploys every Hell Spawn to kill the traitor, but Spawn uses his newly found Necro powers to kill his lesser counterparts by the thousands. He then collects a wounded Coggles just before he is overwhelmed, and flies out through the gates of Hell avoiding Bulgy's swipe at him. Spawn looks at the happy family and realizes there isn't a place for him in Wanda's life anymore, as Zack enters having followed Spaz all the way home. Cyan notices before anyone that the Violator has recovered and he quickly snatches Spawn up. He attempts to bite his head off but Letha turns the giant gecko into a pincushion, before Spawn uses his chains to decapitate him. The clown's severed head taunts the group and threatens to return, before melting back into hell to be punished for his failures. Wynn is arrested and has Terry testify to all his wrongdoings, while Spawn dedicates himself to justice rather than vengeance. He returns to the alley as King of Rat City, with Cagliostro, Zack, and Spaz at his side. And the movie ends. So you made it. I appreciate your time. I couldn't have done it without you. Tell your mother I said thanks.